Need someone to drive the offense for your team down the line? Dylan Gunther is your man. You've probably heard it all by now. The 2021 NHL draft isn't that strong, especially if you're looking for a game-changing forward. Dylan Gunther doesn't care about your narratives. He's ready to become an impactful player for whichever team decides to take him. And he shouldn't have to wait that long, either. Gunther is projected to be one of the first forwards taken later this month, with a realistic shot of going in the top five. Everywhere Gunther has played, he creates offense. He was selected first overall at the 2018 WHL Bantam Draft after leading the Canadian Sports School Hockey League U15 division with 56 goals and 103 points in 30 games. He turned that into 58 points in 28 games with the U18 team the year after and had a .5 points per game percentage in an eight-game stint as an underage player with Edmonton. His 59 points in 58 games as a full-season rookie gave him the June Piggott Trophy as the WHL's top freshman. Had the WHL season gone its normal distance, Gunther could have hit the 100-point mark, something that isn't overly common among first-year eligible prospects. Gunther got a stint in the AJHL before the season truly kicked off, but it still felt like a missed opportunity for the top star to showcase what he can truly do. I was sitting at home for a long period of time, whereas countries and other players were able to play and continue to get better through a normal season, Gunther said. I was unable to do that, and I had to find ways to continue to get better and work on my game. When he finally did get the chance, he didn't let up. Gunther had 24 points in 12 games, proving just how dangerous he could have been. Seriously, every time he touches the puck, he doesn't something well. Depending on who you talk to, Gunther either looks more comfortable creating plays with the puck or finishing them after taking a pass in open space. If you ask Gunther, he says he feels comfortable being able to do both. Breaking down the Duncan Keith Trade Kings ready for a busy 2021 off-season NHL draft profile. Owen Power how good can Grigory Denisenko become for the Panthers? Will the hiring of Pierre Maguire pay off for the Senators? Sammy Joe's podcast. Episode 11 Latoya Clark What's next for the Montreal Canadiens? Whatever happens, happens Maple Leafs defenseman Travis Dermott on his new deal with expansion draft looming Andre Vasilevsky was at his best when it mattered the most the Chicago Blackhawks should be excited about Alex Vlasic how the Canadiens won Game 4 Game 4 reaction. How the Montreal Canadiens won Anthony LeBlanc in conversation with W. Graham Rouston How the Canadiens can fight off elimination Habs desperately need to shake things up Canadiens crowd a positive at Bell Center. Being a guy who creates offense, that's really my strength and my game. I think it's important to be able to do both, Gunther said. I think if I'm getting a shot off, or I'm shooting, I think being able to find open ice is really a huge part of that. I think when I have the puck on my stick, I'm obviously a threat to shoot and score still, but you can also make plays from that, which is also a big part of my game. One Western-based scout didn't actually bring out Gunther's offensive game when talking about what he liked the most out of him. Instead, his play inside his own zone, something that was a bit of a downside prior to him going number one to the Oil Kings in 2018. Early on it, it wasn't something we were getting excited about, the scout said. He doesn't have the physical play in the zone we want to see, but he has evolved to the point where positioning is never a concern and he creates quite a few scoring chances by pissing off the defenders. There simply aren't many noticeable flaws in his game. He's as well-rounded as you can ask for. Gunther notes Sidney Crosby as his favorite player to watch, although many scouts liken him to Kyle Connor or Max Pacioretty. But even though trying to emulate Sidney Crosby is nearly impossible, he still takes a ton of important aspects out of his game and tries to utilize them to his advantage. He thinks the game's super fast, Gunther said. I think his compete level is really outstanding. That's really a good thing for young kids to look at, just how hard to get like that works. Gunther capped off the season with a trip to Texas to represent Canada at the U18 World Championship. The Canadians didn't need Gunther to be anything special, cruising through the tournament with a perfect 7-0 record. But the fact that he stood out despite not playing his best hockey really shows just how good of a player he can be. Gunther doesn't have many off nights, and his reliability in all ends of the ice really is a true benefit of his game. Gunther has a real shot of challenging William Eklund to become the first forward taken in this draft. For teams early in the draft order that don't want to pick a defenseman, there's so much to love about Gunther's game. He's not far from being an NHL quality player, but once he makes it, the winger will be ready to unleash total bombs on unlucky goaltenders around the league.